What happened today at the racetrack was absolutely heinous. A noose was found in the 43 garage. Now, for those that don't know, the 43 is driven by Bubba Wallace, the only African-American driver in the sport. And I want to say that it was very it was very foolish of me to think that NASCAR was making these big steps to being more welcoming and allowing themselves to be more diverse because NASCAR has been known to stereotypically be considered to be a racist sport. And right now, based off what happened today, it still is because this heinous act is taking place in light of several NASCAR drivers speaking out against police brutality and showing their support for the Black Lives Matter movement, the abolition of the Confederate flag. And already, not even two weeks of me thinking that this sport is starting to make big leaps into being more welcoming diverse of people of color and welcoming diversity, this heinous act happens. As far as who did this and what their motive is, I'm not going to play the guessing game on who did this, but I will say I will be very shocked and I will be appalled and I will be absolutely ashamed if it was another driver that did this. Now, because of the COVID-19 restrictions, the only people that even had access to the garage to begin with are the team members, which are the drivers and the crew members, the NASCAR officials, and the track and safety workers. So there's really no need to play the guessing game on this on who did it, because it's most likely going to be figured out probably tonight, because I'm sure that NASCAR is going to be looking at the cameras, because there are cameras everywhere, and there is a 100% chance that this person will get caught, and they will face the consequences. Because as much as NASCAR has been labeled as a racist sport in the past. At least they're making steps with discipline because Kyle Larson used a racial slur in a virtual race live stream earlier this year. And he was ultimately suspended by NASCAR and they forced him to take a sensitivity class. And Kyle Larson, as I personally think that He's held himself accountable for it. He's take he's completed the course. And there's been images of him going around on social media of him really making an effort to be a better person. So as far as this whole thing is concerned, they're going to most likely find out who did this tonight. It'll probably get revealed on Tuesday. And whoever did it, tomorrow's race will be the last participation that they will have in this sport. Now, how is NASA going to recover from this? I think they can still recover from it, especially if, and knowing that whoever did this is going to get punished for it severely. So that's all I'm going to talk about it. Again, I'm not going to play this guessing game on who did it. But I'm going to be shocked if it was a driver that did it. And I'll be absolutely appalled and ashamed. 